Right, this is the last day of putting effudex on my forehead. Uh, you can see it's looking pretty red and angry. And it is just now starting to get really quite painful as well. Stings and it's like sunburn. It tickles. Um, and it's all over the place. So, um, the effudex only targets cells that are rapidly dividing. So the fact that most of my forehead is bright red shows at what a state uh, my skin was in this is through a childhood of just using baby oil and coconut oil and stuff so you must protect yourself in the sun or even stay out the sun's the best thing and then we've got little sort of patches down the sides which uh, for some reason aren't as bad as the forehead it must be where it gets it all i've had surgery on my nose before for basal cell cancer see the scars just the tip of my nose uh, this stuff I've got on my forehead turns into, or potentially turns into, squamous cell carcinoma. Um, so that's why it's been treated. So four weeks of putting the cream on every day and just put on the last dose. So hopefully that can start to settle down. Um, the consultant wants me to do my whole face, which is... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, um, but I think my forehead's the worst part, so I'm glad I got that done. It's highly toxic to dogs. It can kill them, dogs and cats. Uh, I've had one emergency with a dog uh, with Ripley licked my head, forehead, when I uh, wasn't looking. Um, I've had to keep my distance for a month, so I'm looking forward to um, giving them some cuddles tomorrow, because um, they've missed that, I've missed that, so... Um, yeah, fun and games. I don't know how much longer the pain goes on for. Hopefully that will settle down soon. Means to an end, I guess. Uh, so the end of this little bit of chemotherapy, fortunately. But look at, look at the state of that. I did say at the beginning of it, it looked like a baboon's bum. And uh, not really knowing what to expect, but I think I was sadly correct. But um, hopefully that will settle down quickly. So goodbye, Effudix, for now. Um, let's see how long it takes to settle down.